So every channel and flip has an amplitude envelope and you can check it out by going to the samples page and then tapping the envelope tab. This shapes the volume of your sound over time and it's also related to how long you hold down a pad or a key when you play it. You can adjust settings either by dragging on these dots or by using the uh, boxes with these numbers in them at the bottom. Attack shapes the start of your sound, so whether it's going to immediately play or if it's gonna fade in a little bit. An initial determines whether it's gonna fade in from nothing or maybe it'll start with a little bit of volume. You can also do a more complex envelope shape with initial by uh, putting attack lower than the initial. That's not exactly common practice though. Uh, decay sets the amount of time that it takes after the attack is complete to reach the sustain level. So here I'm setting how long it takes for that sound to reach zero because I have sustain all the way down. But if I have it somewhere in the middle, I'm setting how long it's gonna take to reach this middle volume value, but also it's only gonna be at that value for as long as I hold or sustain this note. As soon as I let go, we're in the release phase. So this determines after you release the note, how long does it take to go to zero if it's not already at zero. With a super short release, the sound is off as soon as I lift my finger up. And with a longer release, I can tap the note and it'll still ring out. <laughs> 